Hey guys, welcome back to Walks Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been on the LV426 for about 483 cycles now. The LV426 is a collection of three asteroids, possibly two more if we can ever get out to them, where we've been surviving for a little while now, pushing our technology forward and trying our absolute best to move our way forwards and get into space, become a space col uh, space faring coloni colonizers, and um, we, we need to sort out the rockets. There are problems with rockets, but first, but first, I've, I've also, I figured out what the problems are. I, it's, it's me being an idiot. I'll be back for that though. Uh, but but for, look, look at this. We've got some flooding on our anti-entropy uh, uh, thermal nullifying machine. We, we've got some broken hydrogen generators. We have got a backing up of the hydrogen. Problems are abound and we need to do something to fix it. Now, basically all that needs to happen here is we need to find some color ore, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult. Shouldn't be too difficult at all. In fact, I think uh, we are in the middle of watching this go uh, down. Obviously with the filters that we put in place last time, where's my filter? It's up here. Uh, we should be able to keep this nice and clean now. Now, the second thing we need to do is to dig this one out. I'm gonna just go ahead and do uh, this. When this gets dug out, this is still gonna be a little bit too much water, I think. I, I, I'm not sure whether it is too much or too little but uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of look at that there's iron there there is iron there I want to be able to sweep this all out because unfortunately this is going to be yeah, venting polluted oxygen into our cold box and polluted oxygen not very good at keeping the cold cold so we're, we're going to do our best to uh, to change that and pass that around we're going to watch these guys do their thing maybe speed up ash ash you've taken damage what is this let's uh, let's sort that out no ineligible all right no no one's allowed to use it no one's allowed to use it okay i'm going to get my mop skill because i've got a feeling yeah there we go we can kind of I'm going to say hack the system, though that might be a little bit strong there. What we're actually going to do is wait for it to uh, to spread across. When it spreads, it's going to be quite thin, and you can pick it up there, and then, oh, too much liquid when it's not, uh, when, when it's too thick. Now, where, where are the peoples that do these things? I mean, it's nighttime, right? Here's the people who do those things. <laughs> Okay, the water is getting swept. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. People are cl clearing up. People are tidying up. Of course, we're going to have some problems beyond just the water here, and they're mostly going to extend to the atmosphere inside this box. What I'm going to do is destroy this tile underneath. I don't know whether people are going to get to it straight away, but we're, we're going to check. I thought I heard the, the noise of this going off there. I wonder what I heard instead. Okay, no, I don't want to do it that, that soon. I don't want to do it that soon. I want to get the water gone first. I definitely want to get the water gone first uh, because it will just drop down else and then we've got we've got, we've got got all sorts of stuff going down on down here. Mostly, we've got hot water and the hot water is a little bit too hot. Another problem that we're going to have to solve here is trying to make a cooling box over there and then we're going to run the uh, metal refinery pipes over this way. It's going to be a small uh, small change in the way we do things, but it's going to be fine. Are we clean? Are we tidy? We're nearly clean. We are nearly tidy. But with that, I'm definitely going to ask for that tile to be taken out. Hopefully, Hicks is going to move before the tile gets taken out it's good enough it's good enough because what i want to do is shut the door now we're going to make this a sealed environment are oh, the hydrogen's escaping no don't let the hydrogen uh, escape okay so when the door closes any moment now there we go door has uh, closed as you can see the uh, polluted oxygen has dripped down now what i'm going to do is i'm going to lock this door in fact i'm not i'm going to just change the priorities for people getting in and out uh, and then we're going to put down another insulated tile higher priority than that Please. Okay, this seems like small problems have been solved. As you can see, the box is now completely full of hydrogen. There is no way for anyone to get in and out of the door. The insulated tile is about to be put in place. Also, we've just had this uh, print up. Let's have a look. I'm looking for farmer tidying. I'm looking for a farmer rancher, but uh, that, that, that's fine. We'll, we'll make do with the fungal spores, I suppose. Ah, man, we still got to deal with this as well. Okay, I think the day has been saved. Let's move our way up here. I've been having problems up here. You guys might know I've been going to go for new rockets. I'm like, steam engine It's telling me there's not enough space above the rocket. I'm also now finding out we don't have enough steel. This is a problem. We'll fix that problem in a second. But you might be wondering why. Why is this such a problem? We can't put in the steam engine down. Uh, and some of you might be more observant than I. There's a bunch of ladders here. We, we need to get rid of these ladders. They are holding up the space here. Look, you've got, got some either side here. These are the ones that really need to go. Uh, I Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get some steam up here next. I don't know how this is going to work because at the moment, we've got a whole bunch of carbon dioxide coming up here. I don't think we actually need this anymore, but let's just quickly see what's going on with it. 
Okay, so it's actually coming from down here. This is a waste gas pipeline that I completely forgot about. We really need to do something with this, and what we're doing with it is not the acceptable one. It's really tempting, really tempting to send the carbon dioxide that we've got building up here, just the carbon dioxide mine, using our powers of our pipe, send it through this line here. I should imagine it should be able to go through with all the oxygen. That will teleport itself over, let's find the spot here, to this bad boy. Uh, and then it'll just come out through the vents. We got hyd we got hydrogen coming out here. That's, that's not great. But when they come out through the vents, they will filter their way down. Mm, maybe we could send up, set up a bit of a better... Um, filtration system let's just take a moment yeah we got bits of carbon dioxide building up but that would then come down to our slicks down here who are eating all our carbon dioxide that might be a winner also you can see that i'm starting to uh, get a bit of a, a natural gas problem here so i've set, asked for some uh asked for a gas pump an automation to pick up the gas that is around it and also asking for a dig to be done it's saying there's an unreachable dig but i uh i disagree these should hopefully be jobs I can just leave ticking over in the background. Let's go up and have a look at what we've got going here. So we've got a few of these ladders taken down. Just to get these last ones. On this side, are we able? Are we able? Steam engine. It's a lack of steel. And I know where all my steel is. It's, I, I did a... I did a we're going to call it a mistake, even though it was an intentional boo-boo. If we come over to the metals here, we should be able to find steel amongst all of this. There. There's some. So anywhere that we see blue, we need to try and change that for different. I think, actually, I've not done too bad. Rocket. Nice. Oh, there's cobble. Okay, here's a whole bunch of wires we can try and get back. <laughs> And we're going to ask any steel that is ripped down to be put back in the machine. Okay, beautiful. This, of course, will teleport back to your kill. Oh no, I've just come back in time to watch too much heat come through here. Okay, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Is that going to completely destroy it? It is. Right, well, I, I suppose this is the time where we need to think about a secondary cold box. Are we going to just make a cold box over this side, cool this place down? I don't know. I think I actually want to do it on this side. So let's uh, let's quickly put a room together, shall we? Yeah, I think first things first, we're going to deconstruct this one over here. If we can just let the water flow straight through, that would probably also uh, be a good line. I think we can do that just by doing this. We can then discard. I don't have the pliers. The game updated and I don't have it. Uh, that's fine. That just means we've got to do it the old old-fashioned way of deconstructing pipes. It'd be nice just to keep this turning around and see if we can't cool it down somewhat. Also, is it me or have they outlined the pipes a bit differently? Oh, we got people getting too hot down here. When the uh, the refinery got destroyed, it's released a whole bunch of steam here. Hundreds of dis degrees. We should probably tell Ash to uh, go take refuge up here. I've got a feeling they're already ready to get into uh, into bed. That's, that's fine. That's fine. It's not fine, but we'll live. So I was going to use this aqua tuner thermal aqua tuner in the middle here to try and get rid of all the heat but i think what i might be doing is something just a little bit more brutal we're going to get ourselves some very high heat resistant uh, liquids probably going to use the crude oil as petroleum's are pretty much harder to get let's go and have a look over here down the bottom we could we could possibly we got a little bit of petroleum we could probably try and uh, mop some of this up as well see if we can't get some of it into bottles and then ship the bottles across can, is that a thing that happens can we go in the hay conveyor loader uh, I, I've got a feeling not, to be honest. No. So we want to try and send some liquids through that. You know what? We can do that just from here. Do I want to use the petroleum instead? The reason that I'm uh, questioning myself, if we come in and have a look at some of the material uh, properties for these, crude oil, we can go all the way up to 400 degrees. That's quite hot. I don't think we're ever going to go higher than that. But let's have a look at the specific heat capacity, 1.69. Nice. And thermal conductivity of 2. What about the petroleum? 1.7. That's more heat, but still the same, uh, same thermal conductivity. I think I think we might just go for the crude oil actually. I think we might just go for the crude oil. Can we get this out of here without causing too much troubles? Yeah, almost definitely just here. Of course, we're gonna have to destroy this almost instantly. But, you know, that's life. Okay, so here's the line going in place. Let's go back to where it's gonna arrive. Over this way. This guy, this guy here. You are not ready to receive liquids at all. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to figure it out. Where's a cr look, you see this that sand here? New crude oil pipe pit. You know what? I'm even tempted to say just this will do. Oh no! Oh oh no! Oh, we've got a big problem. I was 
I was wondering, I was wondering, what was wrong with my bog jellies over here? They seem to be getting very, very hot, like very, very hot. So I uh, switched to the old thermal view here. I was like, well, this is, this is a bit weird. And look, it's, got, it's getting hot down here as well. And there's a big old uh, heat spot, spot over here. And then I was like, oh no. So we turned up the temperature of this because we'd managed to get some polluted germs into our polluted water, some some food poisoning, yeah, like these these things over here. Uh, so I was like, well, we'll just cook them out. Uh, then I forgot to turn the temperature back down before I turned this all up. Ah, oh, look at this. This is terrible. This is actually starting to. Okay, let's go, let's go above. Let's try. It. There's cold over here. There is cold over here. Let's try and mix these two together before my pump breaks. Ah, oh, my pump's gonna break. <laughs> 74.8. Oh yeah, this is this is this is not great. I mean, the temperature's going in the right direction. Okay, I think we've managed to save the day once again. 62 degrees. That's brilliant. That's wonderful. Talking about brilliant and wonderful, I've got a different plan for our cold box over here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rip this all down. Uh, I've decided that over here might be a better place to do it because do you know one of the big problems with having a steam box? Let me tell you, the biggest problem is getting different gases inside your box when really, really you just want water. Well, here's an area that is just water. We could quite easily uh, cut out a little box box here, run some heat pipes through this area, we'll probably need to rip these pipes down but that's no problem, and have ourselves a uh, uh, have ourselves a steam turbine cooling this area down, I think I think we can do it, I think we can do it, hopefully we can keep it uh, therm thermally isolated from this area over here, I'm also going to need to pull this out, we're going to leave this pipe network in place because I do want to use it. Oh, we're actually emitting brine. Okay, beautiful. At minus 10, this is good. This means we're going to be having a temperature being pulled out of the water over here. 39, that's good. 43 over here, not so great. The heat destroyer has been moved. I've left the bottom of the box open so they can come in and clean up all the debris down here. Of course, there is quite a bit. Uh, a small confession time. I forgot to put the, the vent in, so I had to kind of put a bridge down somewhere to jump that over. That turns this bottom area here into the serious radiator. That's fine. That's cool. The problem is, though, we don't have any liquids to drop into this yet. Let's go and have a look up here. Uh, people are tidying, but there is, in fact, no crude oil coming through. Let's go over to Taranu. I've asked these guys to make this. I've even sent some steel over so that we can get this uh, natural gas generator up and running, because until we get some serious power running here, this guy just isn't going to be working full time. So let's try and get this up and running as soon as possible. See what happens. Of course, another problem is we're going to have to start thinking about how we pump this natural gas out. Mmm. Randomness is frozen in time. Oh, no. Okay, the pipes have just been connected. We're getting a steady flow of natural gas going through. I have uh, changed the automation. I've got a gas element sensor above, a gas element sensor below. Only if both of those are reading natural gas will it start pumping out from here. There is some coal there. Let's, uh, let's dig that up. Uh, this, of course, is being... Uh, changed into power and uh, carbon dioxide which is pretty good that gets fed off over the here and down to our slicksters the polluted water could be an issue isn't actually an issue because we're going to pump it out and we're going to send it I mean, it's all the way up here. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, it is. It's all the way up here. We need to send it into this line here to get it changed. This one here, in fact. Get it changed into regular water and then cleaned. No problems. Of course, the exact specifics of how we get that line out might need a little bit of thinking. It's definitely not the most beautiful line I've ever put in place. I've got a feeling I'm going to be moving this gas pump to much lower down in the system. Maybe somewhere down here if I was to grab a copy of it and pop it right there. That wouldn't go in this, would it? We could even connect it straight to... Oh no, there are problems. I should really know better by now. Okay, Eric's on it immediately. Let's see if we can get that pipe broken before we do any damage to our natural gas generator over here. I'm, I'm very worried. I'm very, very worried. I'm actually going to set this other one up to be destroyed as well. well. We'll just take this whole pipe section out to cleanse it of its carbon dioxide. I'm worried. I'm worried. Okay, we, we've sectioned it off. Great. Okay, let's, let's, think, let's think about this a little bit better. Okay, we'll put one of those not this element sensors up that will spew via the wonder of the high pressure gas vent out of the pipe. And we'll just reroute this pipe down over that way so all of these little nodules can get vented to the atmosphere. Probably make their way down to here. Okay, so that's the infrastructure in place. Let's see if it actually filters. 
Uh, through goes a bunch of, uh, of of gas. That's cool. It opens up others. Okay, that, this is this is good. This is good. What about the throughput? Ha, ha, oh no, I haven't put a wire down. <laughs> I haven't put a vent pipe back. Okay, the last pipe in place. Are we going to get any contamination through? No, I think we're good now. I think we are good now. I'm going to wait to see if this moves at all. But no, there's there's a solid flow. We're we're strong. Well, we're definitely going to need more than one. The power does not hold steady. Okay, for my next trick, we're going to do something very similar with detecting the elements. But what we're actually going to do is detect the uh, natural gas rising up through this column. I'm hoping that with this tile here, we'll be able to keep steam out of this little box that I've built for the for the pump and then uh, as the pe pressure builds it will go up this column I'm only gonna detect on this level here I think that will be fine okay with a little bit of mild coercion they've managed to get things in place on the other side of this tile so I'm now gonna put up the uh, priority for this one and hope that someone someone comes along to fix it up pretty quickly Okay, it's time to do something that I should have done a while ago. You can see I've got a whole bunch of deconstruct orders here. I want to take this cooling loop and I want to send it the full way around the loop. And I can do that just by doing this. We're going to end up with a few gaps to begin with because obviously this is quite a big loop. I've also included a cooling down the uh, natural gas generator here, but I really need these guys to come along and deconstruct this uh, this bridge here, else we are gonna end up with uh, a bit, a bit of a nasty situation where we're gonna be passing some liquids down here and some liquids that way, and they're, because they're not the same length, there's a chance it could all just freeze up over here, especially with extra crude oil being pumped in the bottom here. Okay, there we go, and the bridge has been broken. Not a moment too soon, it turns out, because here was the last gaps that we had available to us. Oh, look, there's another one over there. I wonder what caused that one. Uh, but should now be going around cooling everything down uh, nicely. Of course, there is going to be a bit of a, a, a catching up period because some of this uh, crude oil that we're picking up is a very, very hot. So it's going to take a while to cool that back down, especially as we keep running out of power. But with that in mind, I need to try and get this line here up and well. Working. The moment this gets done, we're getting, gonna get some more power from all of this natural gas. 23 kilograms. We're building up quite a bit. Nearly cycle 500. Get hyped. We've managed to not kill anybody. We've even colonized another world. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Very close to getting these last two done. They don't seem to be very serious about it. So let's let's get these last two done before the end of cycle 500. If we could, we could start pumping out this natural gas. Though there appears to be a little bit of a problem down here that we might need to address, and that is the fact that the steam has a quite a high value there for like you can see we've got 14 kilos over here we've got double that 37 well i mean over double that down here so uh, we might need to try and pump some of this out let's put down a, a, a deconstruct order i don't think we're going to be able to get round to actually uh putting down a pump but maybe but maybe what we need to do is get a gas pump do we have we have a gold amalgam one i suppose that will do will it do 110 yes that will do 75 plus 50 125 great we might actually need to move up. Well, it's been a fun 500 cycle so far. All right, let's pop there. There. Do I do I have a high pressure gas vent? We 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 need to get this out. I don't know whether I'm actually going to be able to get these down. All right, beautiful, beautiful. I was kind of hoping, if I was to be honest with you, to have uh, completely taken over Sh to Sharubi by now. Oh, I, cl I clicked and then clicked again. Uh, th this is where we get our next load of research. So we we've done the. Uh, we, we've done the standard research, the computer research, the uh, space research, and now there's uh, radioactive research to be done. I know nothing about it, although I will learn as time goes on. But to take over that, we need the rockets, and to get the rockets, we need the steel, and to get the steel, we need the cooling, and ha <laughs> ha It's all right. We, we, we just got these last few things to do, and then maybe we can get some serious steel production back on the go. <laughs> So one of the good things about the natural gas generator and the petroleum generator is they essentially make the same byproduct. So we could quite easily drop down a petroleum generator here to try and get a bit more power on the go. I say quite easily. We'll see how it actually works out. We've got a line of petrol up the top here. It's empty. That's not helpful. Well, we've got a line of petrol at the top here. You can see it's now being filled. We could steal a little bit it from how would how would we get the pipe down here we could still a little bit from here anyway let's uh let's cancel this bit and then we can connect it with a pipe what's made out what's made out of steel here no 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 
radiant pipes made out of steel? I mean, this this is not really acceptable, if I'm to be honest with you. Wow, wow, no, we want that back and the iron. Just going around checking them all now. Most of them are copper. I've got a few lead ones. That could be a problem. Look, look over here, we got some more. That, this is not great. Well, I've asked for them to be replaced, but however long that actually takes with the three of them working on the more important projects, we'll just wait and see. So I'm not planning to do anything uh, fancy down here, no serious automation. I'm just going to rip down the, uh, uh, the the line, the power line. I, I don't know, we'll just rip down something when we, realize, when we think we're at the right spot. I... Just want to equalize, maybe? Maybe get down to, I don't know, 14 kilograms, maybe 10 kilograms over here. Uh, and then that this should be able to push its way back up. That would mean we then keep 10 kilograms of natural gas because, you know, it, pre it equalizes out. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's mostly going to be experimentation on how it runs. Oh, we've, we've got a weird one in here. Let's attack. We can't, we can't have you. No, no, no. You will clog up my system with petrol. We are not about that. Moment silence for the passing of a baby baby critter. Look, he's put petrol. Oh my, no. Okay, so as I say, nothing fancy. We're just going to pump this out whilst we've got the power. It turns out this is something that doesn't happen that often. And I'm just going to sit here keeping an eye on the gas pressures. Uh, I think if this one starts pumping, we'll class it as a success, but maybe take it down a little bit lower. I'm glad that this is still pushing out at. 15 kilos. I wonder what the, the highest pressure that this one can take is. <clears throat> so we had a slight problem of this gas vent being over pressurized because it turns out 20 kilos is the number. Though if we come down to the bottom here where I've rebuilt this gas pressure vent, uh, you can see that we've only got 128 grams of petroleum. There's no gases there at all and there is under 20 kilograms of a liquid so it means it can outgas here and push it all into this steam. It's a bit of a hack, it's a bit of a cheat. I don't like using these in the same way I don't like using liquid locks but here we are doing both within five tiles of each other so yeah <laughs> that's that's the way my life's working right now I know I said nothing fancy, but uh, I want to be able to leave this place because, uh, well, I, I want to be able to leave this place up and running. This is going to take a little while to get built here, and the only thing we really need to do now is to build these sandstone pipes. No no one's on these. Why is no one building these? Should we uh, motivate people a little bit here? These are the pipes that we need to be able to get the uh, the crude oil over to the original uh, Yaquil so that we can get our... Let's get all the way down here. Our refinery up and running again. We just need to put some of that crude oil in these pipes back here. And then everything can get up and running. All right, last two pipes going into place. Bam. All right, all oh, wonderful. Overnight, we're going to be shipping some of this crude oil. I'm not sure how much it's going to be able to get through. But obviously, we're not going to be able to rip this down until the morning. Where is the this gas bridge, this uh, liquid bridge here. I'm going to ask for this bridge to be t ripped down in the morning uh, and that should be a fair amount of liquid over. If we come over to your kill and look up towards the teleport device over here, we are starting to hopefully any moment now get some crude oil underneath. This should flood out relatively quickly. This is going to fill up with uh, several kilo. Let's, let's see how much. We get a thousand kilograms of water. Is it going to be the same crude oil? I don't know. We can go find out on Taranu though. It's about a thousand, 800 kilos. That, that's pretty good. So we'll, we'll get... 32, uh, 3,200 kilograms in here, give or take. Uh, and then we should be able to move that down below. I could have run the pipe straight away, but I mean, uh, my, my bases, they get they get busy with pipes. So I, I'm, I'm really trying to cut down the number I use. Okay, so there's a bunch of oil. Let's come down to our refining place down below. As you can see, I have started to put a liquid emptier here. So we're going to... Polluted water looks very dark. Crude oil is what we want, and we're going to go enable auto bottle. There we go. Uh, so now people should, from up top, oh, I forgot the uh, the power, no big problems. Should, from up top, come along and pump some of this liquid out of here. Oh, look at that. Ripley is on it. Let's, let, let's follow Ripley. Let's follow Ripley. Uh, it is a little bit of a journey to be undertaken. It's a, it's a great shame, and of course, we have some temperature locks on the way. There's a bunch of copper there that we really should go and have a look at. I 
Tell you what, I've noticed that the transportation options in this place are quite limited. We have access to refined metals now, so we should be able to get some fireman's poles around and get, let people travel up and down much quicker than they currently are. But here goes some of the liquids. It's at 40 degrees at the moment. What's the water at? 40 degrees. That's fine. What's it going in at? 52. So we are actually losing some temperature to the water here. That's pretty nice. I wonder how much we're actually going to be able to store in the machine. I don't know. I'm just going to keep pouring until some pulls up in the liquid pump here. Oh, look, we're making the liquid pump out of steel. No, not great. <laughs> I suppose we're gonna just spend a day on full panic. Full panic. Ashes on it. Beautiful, beautiful. We're just gonna move all the... Well, I don't know how much we're gonna need to move. As you can see, we've already come to the status here. Uh, we've already got two separate piles of crude oil. Is 300 what we needed? Is it 600? I had 600 in my head. But, but there's also a little bit of water here. I don't know what's gonna happen to the... Well, I do know what's gonna happen to the water because it's quite a small amount of water. So it's gonna get very hot, turn to steam, break my pipe. We're going to repair it and carry on like nothing happened. Oh, oh, we got we got stuff being produced. Copper to copper. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. What's going to happen with the liquids in it? Let's have a look. at The water's coming out quite hot. Okay, that's, that's a shame. 30 kilos of water. It's not, it's not really what I would have said was good cooling. Another thing I can do now, especially as all the uh, the bits have been cleared out, is to seal this up. It needs to be quite a high priority. It needs to happen relatively quickly. We don't want to be warming the entire box up after all. We've got 70 degree coolant there. Is this not cooling down enough? What temperature is it going in at? We might need to stick another cooling loop on it. Stop, stop, hold on. Okay, mildly rearranging the loop here. This should hopefully give some more cooling. That's That's the plan. More cooling is more good. Oh, coming out 184. We need to check the temperature when it comes back in. The problem is we've got a bunch of 36 degree stuff here as well. So we, we, need, we need to keep an eye on it. Okay, here's the 100 degree stuff. What's it going to come out the other side? If we're just all going out at 40. Oh, there's a 50s there. I mean, that's better than just boiling. Mm, I kind of want it to be the same temperature as the ambient. It's pretty tough to achieve though. Oh, the water broke. The, the water broke. We knew it was going to happen at some point if we kept on pouring it into that water. Did it Did it all go? I, I'm, I'm really hoping it's all gone. Uh, I'm also going to try and ooh, try and uh, get some more cooling on the go. <laughs> let's let's just get more, 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 more. No, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't want any more. I didn't. Th thank you. Thank you. We're, we're already quite full here. Uh, we're going to leave it in the pipes, I suppose. That's that's the only place to leave it. Um, <laughs> okay, that's cool. No workable orders though. Why? What are we missing? No copper ore left. Okay. I mean, I know where there's a lot of copper ore. It's just over here. We'll, we'll come over. We'll be like, hey, excuse, excuse me, guys. Ex excuse me. I know you're very, very busy, but could you throw some copper ore through as well? Okay, literally took all day, but we got some going through. Not looked for a while. Rancher, farmer, rancher, farmer, rancher. No, okay, fair enough. Pip eggs. Go then. They're a bit awkward. They're going to go through some of my storage bins and stuff. In fact, why are these storage bins even here? Let's get rid of these. But it's not it's just nice to have extra animals around, right? Okay, we appear to be up and running again. This is good. This is good. How hot are we going to be warming stuff up to? I, I don't know. I feel like we're done with all this lot over here to the point where we're actually like backing up in pipes. So we gotta got to watch out for that, right? Especially when it's coming out 100 and something degrees. Woo. 60, 50. I, I can take a 50 degree exit. It's kind of what we've been dealing with, right? All that heat, of course, being dumped into the water. It's slowly going up. The polluted water, uh, 400... Sorry, let me try again. 48 degrees. <laughs> Far too used to dealing with much higher temperatures. <laughs> 50 degree crude oil seems to be what we're uh, sticking with here. At some point, the water's going to get hot enough that it actually becomes 100 degree crude oil. The water will start boiling. If we get up to 120, the steam turbine will start cooling everything down, bring it back to 100 degrees in here. Uh, we need to figure out a way of getting power down. I was thinking maybe we'll just continue this line down here, like so, uh, run a power line down, uh, but maybe, but maybe we'll put a join plate. How did you do that? Okay, I've got another plan. I've got another plan. I'm going to take these two tiles out. Kind of not what I want to do, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, these guys are going to get taken out. I'm going to see if we can dig into that corner. That's that's kind of something I want to know. 
Oh no, people are starving over here. We've actually got no food, and I bet it's because we've just been ignoring the farm tiles whilst we get stuff built. Ah, my fault, my fault. Let's bump these up to a six. Oh, we might be out of dirt. Mm, okay, may maybe we're just going to be sending food from over here. Maybe. Okay, some food has gone through. Looks like Arat's come to get all of it. Okay, this is... This is kind of good, but everybody else is also having troubles. Are we going to be able to make it through the night? That's the question. 9,000, uh, 900, 800, uh, was 890 though, so that should be okay, I'm hoping. As long as we can get some more food sent through here in a moment. Okay, we've got some more food dropping in. 9,000 calories. Are people coming to eat? I sure do hope so. Well, today's an episode that's kind of gone, gone away from us just a little bit, but I have dealt with the natural gas problem over here. We have also gone ahead and put in enough of coolant for our metal refinery to be running. In fact, it's just a little bit too much coolant. Shall we just quickly empty this out? I wonder how many we're going to have to empty out here before it goes, yes, that's enough. It's going to be quite a few, I'm almost certain. There's uh, quite a few full pipe to deal with here and I'm not sure how many more actually needs to be vented. I don't know which one to read it. I suppose we've got a 200 so I suppose we're getting rid of that. 22. 22 of them we actually ended up having to empty there but we've managed to get our metal refinery up and running so maybe, maybe we're at the final point where I can click on this thing. We can go new rocket and can I go steam engine? No, we're still sure. But all we need is a little time. In fact, there is just enough time to click over for two more here. As you can see we have enough lime we have enough iron ore it's just going to take a little bit of time before we are making that rocket but i am out of time and i'm going to, have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where we are indeed going to launch those rockets or at least get those rockets built i'm sure there's going to be more problems along the way and we are going to share those problems i'll see you then when we're going to do that bye